All right, mate. So we basically already learned everything about React and Redux. And right now, we have a little bit of our store called Active User, a little chunk of memory that's always equal to the Active User, whatever user they clicked on. So now all we have to do is just build a container to display it. And I'll just have their picture and their username, age below, whatever. So just like before, whenever we made this container, it's pretty much just going to be the same. So this was user list, and that's what this is, a container that displays all the users. And I'll make another one called user detail to kind of display um, more details about a single user. So, and we can probably steal a bunch of stuff from user list. So what do we need? We need react, component, connect, all right. We need that. So we're going to connect it so we can pass in props. And all right. So I can even copy. Okay. I'm not that lazy. Pretty lazy, but not that lazy. So we're going to make a component, which is a class. And we'll just name it user detail. And it's just going to extend or inherit from component. Now remember, all a container or a component is, is just a little um, class essentially that returns some HTML. So we just call render and just return some HTML. It's going to be across multiple lines. So let me just write div. All right. So what info do we actually have? All right, so the, they have an ID. I really don't think we need that. The age, the description, and the thumbnail. And the thumbnail is just like a little profile picture, picture of them. All right, so let me do that first. I'll say image. And source is equal to this dot props dot thumbnail but actually we didn't even pass in the user as a property yet but we already know how to do that so instead of typing it it again just copy this all right so anytime we need to throw extra information in here remember i already explained we map state to props that gets a little piece of state from uh, the entire store and then we can pretty much just pass it in now. Here's the thing right now We're passing in users list, which is the entire list of users Remember for this user. We only want the active user the user that was selected. So instead of users in here We just need active user and We shouldn't call it users because that implies multiple ones. It's just going to be equal to one so now we have the property of user available right here which is the active user and then this is just going to display their thumbnail and i'll display like their uh name too so say h2 user first and last all right now i think we got age so we can do that Make the rest of them H3. So we also want to display their age. And I'll say description. The description is just like a little snippet about him, like, oh, Bucky loves baked beans. That's him. Pretty cool. <laughs> all right. So this is all formatting. Just format it, style it however you want. Boom roasted. So this is undefined because remember we need to connect it using this. And all right, I'll just type it. Oh, my gee, you have to do everything here. So export default because if we just use this right now, it's just a dumb component. But remember, we are making it a container because it's we're pretty much reduxifying it. That is the most unprofessional word. No one ever repeat that. All right, so we're just gonna connect. The Redux state to the components props. That's what makes it a container. And what component do we want to make into a container? User detail. So now instead of returning user detail, which is a dumb component, we return a smart 
container. There we go. So now we actually have to use this in our main layout. So if I go to main layout, which is right here, and I need to import it. Containers, user, detail, boom, roasted, toasted. There you go. All right, now I believe if I run this, I'm gonna get an error because of one thing that I wanna point out. Yep, so let me see if this even shows. All right, now if I can show this, all right. So it says, cannot read property of thumbnail of null. Wait a minute, let me hop back here, user detail. All right, so it looks like we're passing in everything properly. Let me just go to my, yeah, we do have called thumbnail right here. So, huh. So this is what's going on. And this is what I was saying earlier that you kind of need to give everything a default value. So a lot of people think whenever they see this, that likely so that there's a problem with thumbnail, but that's not the case. What's happening right now is this. You see, it's looking for a piece of data called active user. And it's saying, all right, this is actually equal to null. That's because what we did is by default, whenever the app first boots up, since we didn't select any user yet, this piece of data, this reducer is equal to null. All right, so why did I do that? I did that because whenever we set it up in this kind of way, we can actually add a check. So this component right here, usually is supposed to print out the details of a user. But what I want to do is I want to say whenever my app first boots up and this is equal to null, AKA we don't have any user yet, then we can check for that and return something else. So actually, if you do something like this, set equal to just a default object, then watch what happens. Everything works properly, but it's kind of weird because we got this little space for age and description and nothing's appearing. So the user might think that there's an error. So it's returning something a default object, but this object is equal to blank. Now the rest of my application will work perfectly. I can never grab this thing, there we go. But again, like I said, whenever it first boots up, it's a little bit weird. So that's why what I like to do in certain cases is set this equal to null. But if I do that, I get an error unless I check before. So what I'm gonna do is I know right now, my app first booted up, this.props.user is equal to null. So I'm gonna test for that. So say if we don't have any user, we don't have any active user yet, instead of rendering this, which is the user's details, we can't do that because there is no user selected. What we're gonna do instead, since this container needs to return some bit of data, I'm just gonna go ahead and return, actually let me make this like a heading two. I just say select a user. All right, so now let me redraw this and check this out. So now, actually, I don't wanna make this a heading. I'll just make it like a, actually make it a heading four. Very particular about these things. All right, so in my mind, this is a much better application because we don't have like parts of the detail that aren't displaying. What we have is just a little indicator that says, hey, select a user, you don't have any user selected yet. And again, this is equal to null, but it's fine, we're not getting any errors, we're not trying to render anything that we shouldn't be rendering. So now once we select the user, that causes an action to occur. What action? The user selected action. And now the active user is equal to the payload, which is essentially the user. Now once that happens, then this is no longer equal to null, and this gets called right here, which draws all the information properly. So boom, roasted, toasted, look at that. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is React with Redux. Thank you.